this is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. Today's tutorial video is going to cover some formatting features within Google Sheets that help to increase the readability of data contained in the spreadsheet. We're going to look at a number of different options including alternating colors, text wrapping, freezing rows and columns, conditional formatting, as well as sorting and filtering data. Let's get started. First we're going to take a look at some features that are found under the format menu. If you click on format, you'll notice there's an option to alternate colors. This allows you to choose a color scheme and it will set the colors up so that they alternate in their highlighting of every other row. It makes data much easier to view. You can remove any alternating color formatting that you do if you don't like it by hitting the trash can at the bottom. This feature is also available in the Explore menu, which is located at the very bottom of your spreadsheet. You'll see it right there. Um, but let's take a look again at some other formatting features. In addition to this one, we can also do text wrapping. So one of the problems with viewing data is that oftentimes you can't read what's in the cell because it doesn't fit. So if you highlight the top of the cell by clicking on the letter and choose Format, Text Wrapping, and turn the wrapping on by clicking here, it will auto-adjust the height of the rows to accommodate the amount of data in the cells. When you have a large spreadsheet, it's important to be able to freeze columns or rows so that when you scroll, that uh, top column, uh, top row or side column that you want to stay will stay in place as you move. To do this, choose View, Freeze, and then select what you want to have frozen so that you can view that row or column no matter where you are on your spreadsheet. When you're looking at a lot of data, it can be helpful to set up conditional formatting. This allows you to set rules so that certain data will be highlighted if conditions are met. So, for example, I would like to know if scores are low in these categories by having them highlight so that I can see them very quickly. So I'm going to highlight the columns that I want to apply these rules to. Then I go to Format, Conditional Formatting. You'll notice my range is set here. And now I set the rules. So I would like to know if this number is less than or equal to 3. I would like the color to be red. Now I'm going to choose Done. I can have additional rules, but I think I'll stop here. And then I can very quickly scroll through my data and see whenever that condition is met. You may want to be able to sort and filter your data so that you can adjust what you're looking at or how it's presented to you on the screen. First, we'll talk about sorting. When you sort, you want to select all of the data in the spreadsheet. You do this by clicking the top corner to highlight everything. This ensures that all of the data is sorted and one column isn't left out. Then you're going to choose Data, Sort Range. I see confirmation that I've selected my entire spreadsheet, and I'm going to choose here to indicate that I have a header row so it doesn't get sorted with my data. And I'd like to sort by workshop title, and maybe I'll add another column within that. I'd like it to be sorted by timestamp. Now I choose sort, and it's going to reorganize my data by those rules. Now, sorting causes the row order to change based on the conditions that you set. There's another feature called filtering, which will allow you to actually hide the cells that you don't want to see. To turn on this feature, go to Data, Filter, and you'll notice that new icons appear at the top. I can click on any icon, and it will allow me to do a filtered view based on these uh, fields. So I can clear all of the filters that are there, because right now it's showing all the data. And maybe I just want to pick one workshop to look at. I'm going to click OK. And now you'll notice that the only thing I'm seeing is data related to this workshop. And it will stop at the end of this, and there won't be anything else on the view. I can always turn that back 
to the way it looked before by choosing data and turning off the filter. Um, or I can come back in here and select all again and that will show all of the options that were in this column. Thanks for watching. For this and other help with using technology in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.